Welcome to Learn Primary Science with Blue Tree Teacher Sari. In today's topic, we're going to talk about heat. So, what does heat do to objects? Do they expand? Do they contract? Let's find out! Before we head to any questions, let's go through our Blue Tree Signature ABC Technique. Do you all remember what is the ABC Technique? A represents answer with a choice. If the question asks you for a choice, Give an answer. B, do you remember what is B? B is back with evidence. So it's what you can see and answer according to the question. And C is confirm concepts. Certain questions will require you to do certain concepts or write certain concepts. So do remember to write A, B, C, alright? Let's start with our heat MCQ question. Brian placed two bottles, A and B, connected by glass tubing. A red drop of ink was placed in a glass tubing at point P. The two bottles were then lowered into basins X and Y, containing the same amount of water but of different temperature. So let's look at look, take a look at the diagram. We know that bottle A is immersed in basin X and bottle B is immersed in basin Y. Both basins have the same amount of water of 200 ml but of different temperature. Ryan observed that the red ink moved from point P to point Q 5 minutes later. So, we can take a look at the red ink at point P. It will move to point Q as the arrow indicated. What could the temperature of the water in the basin X and Y be? I'm not very sure, do you remember the experiment that we do before? This experiment, in which if you put cold water in water bottle, what is happening is that the air in the balloon loses heat and it will contract. Whereas, if you put hot water in a water bottle, what is going to happen is that the air in the balloon will gain heat and the balloon will expand. So, now let's take a look what is going to happen in the air in basin X. So, for in order for the red ink to move from point P to point Q, the air in bottle A has to gain heat and expand in order to push the red ink from point P to point Q. That is why the air has to be warmer in bottle A whereas in bottle B, the air has to be colder. So for the air to be colder, it either has to be lower temperature than bottle A. So that is for the red ink to be pushed from point P to point Q because the air in B in bottle A expands and pushes from point P to point Q. Now, let's take a look at the multiple choice question. From the first multiple choice question, we know that it cannot be of the same temperature. So, using elimination method, we know that number one is out. Number two and number three, we can see that the temperature in basin X is colder than basin Y. But we have indicated on the diagram that it has to be warmer. So, the answer would be Point number four. Now, let's take a look at the key concept. Heat gain, heat loss, hot air expands, and cold air contracts. 